Okay, so how do we go about learning our scales? If you watch the PowerPoint and you paid good attention to that, you'll see that um, you can get to all the scales by learning some of them by memory and then by painting them to get to the other scales. So here's the thing you need to do to begin with. You need to memorize the C major scale. That seems a little high. Let's put it down just a bit. The C major scale. That's pretty easy. That's got nothing in it. You go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. No sharps, no flats, okay? And then you need to learn the G scale and the D scale and the A scale. Maybe you already have done this because you have started working with your flashcards. And then you have to learn the F scale and the B flat scale. That's the scale that starts on B flat and the scale that starts on E flat, okay? Now, nice thing about this is they go in order. So this is zero sharps and flats, right? Okay, and if we go this direction, you'll find that this one has one sharp, this one has two sharps, and this one has three sharps, and this one has this direction, one flat, two flats, and three flats, okay? And, you know, you can come up with your own memory system, but I'll, I'll give you a couple that might help. Um, when you write Japanese, or Chinese characters, actually, the Japanese use as well, um, and, they, you know, they're complicated. They, when you look them up in a, in a Japanese form of a dictionary, you sort of gradate them by how many strokes they have in them. For instance, if you go like this, um, so you go one, two, three, four, five, that's the kanji for five, and it has five strokes in it. One, two, three, four, five, right? You can guess uh, what one would be, right? That's just one right there, okay. So if we look at these sharp scales here, and you might actually grab your hand and do this with me. Pretend you have a giant um, sumi brush, a, a big calligraphy brush, and we're gonna make the G, and we're not gonna do a fancy one where we do this and we do this and we do that. We're just gonna make it look like this like a grandpa who's missing his teeth. How many strokes does it take to make this? One. One stroke, G. One sharp, okay? D, D is one, two strokes, two sharps. A, one, two, three, right? You can think of it like, dun, 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 Avengers. Boy, if this stays up on YouTube, That'll be dated in a couple of years. But, you know, one, two, three, three sharps, three main Avengers. The original it was Iron Man, Captain America, and Thor. So that helps, okay? But think about them. One stroke, one sharp, two strokes, one, two, two strokes, two sharps, three, like that, okay? And then, um, well... The, this is not quite as easy to remember, but if you remember that the first flat scale is F, and it always starts F has one flat, first flat scale, and then you can say to be or not to be. And also, if you look how we make an E, you go one, two, three vertical, or sorry, horizontal lines right there. It's easy to remember that that E flat is got, you know, three E uh, flats in it, all right? And so you memorize those. Now, you have your flashcards here, and you should just organize them like that. So, let's see. You've got C major right there, and you just remember C major. And if you look inside, it says zero sharps and flats. So you practice that one. That's a little bit of a gimme, because, well, it's easy to remember because uh, it's the simplest one, no sharps and flats. G major, D major, and A major. If you look inside, one sharp, and it tells you that it's an F sharp. That's the note that you sharp. And then D major, two strokes, two sharps, right? And the sharps are F sharp and C sharp. And A major, 
three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp, okay? Now, I wanna show you how you might practice thinking about those. Don't try and remember every single note, okay? Hold on, let me show you how this works. Here's how I would remember my G scale, which is one sharp, F sharp. Here's how it goes, ready? I'll spell it for you. G, <laughs> F sharp, G, okay? That's it. Now, if you were um, paying attention or you slow this video down, when I went G, <laughs> F sharp, G, you, if you slowed it real down, it would be like G, A, B, C, D, E, F. I stopped, put a sharp on it, and a G. I'm kidding, you won't actually see that. But if you think of it that way, I'm gonna trust that my, my, my head can do the alphabet. We've been singing it and studying it. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? So instead of worrying about what every note is, I just put this in my head. I say one sharp, F sharp. When it gets to the F, I'll sharp it. So when you see this, and if you're interacting with the video, you know, like little kids do and stuff like that, I'd go like G, A, B. You have one job, it's to do this. And you go, wait, stop, sharp, right there. And then that's it. You just wait, 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 sharp. Okay? That's how we do that. D has two sharps, and they are F sharp and C sharp. So when I do my D scale, I go D, I get and stop at the F, right? Stop at the C sharp, and then D. And I trust that I can do the other notes. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, D, two strokes, right? Two sharps, and the sharps are F and C. Now, I, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but F is one sharp, and then two sharps is F sharp and C sharp, and then three sharps is F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. And so you just come up with a mnemonic to remember that. Like, fried chicken's good, right? Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else right now. Um, but that's it right there. A, go A to A and you stop at the C on the way up and go sharp and you stop at the F and sharp and G and sharp like that. And you don't remember them by each note. You remember them like this, that A major has three sharps, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp, okay? And you can do that for the flats as well. Now I'm gonna let you work on the flats a little on your own, but I will give you a mnemonic device for that as well. The first flats are not F flat, C flat, and G flat. That's for sharps. The first flats are B flat, E flat, and A flat. That's the flats in order. So the F scale goes F, stops at B flat, and then parallels out at F. B flat, well, it starts on B flat and goes until it gets to E flat and then keeps going. And don't forget to put B flat at the top even though it looks like there's three flats, there's just two, because that's a repeated note. And then my, my E flat scale, which had three flats, remember three lines right there? It's got B flat, E flat, and A flat. So E flat goes to A flat, does the B flat, clear sailing till we get to the E flat again. And so you'd be like F, G, flat, flat, C, D, like that, right? But the mnemonic device for this, that's not very good, is it? The next flat after this, although we're not going to use it per se like this, is D. And if you look, that spells the word bead, you know, like on a necklace or a bracelet. So the order of the flats is B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. F has one flat, B flat. B flat scale has two flats, B flat, E flat. E flat has three flats. If we had a four flat scale, which we do talk about later, then it would have all of those in there. So you again get your flashcards out and you practice those, okay? All right, now, if you've got this figured out, great. You're gonna go over to a training video where we're gonna teach you how to do some worksheet spelling scales, okay? Just so you know, this um, scales thing is a big deal. And uh, we're about two and a half weeks away from midterms, and it's gonna take two weeks to get through all the different things we need to do with the scales. And the first thing is just memorizing their descriptions and learning how to spell them on worksheets. In fact, that's a large part of it, but then we need to know that well enough that we can plow ahead and do good things with those scales. All right, 
So head over to the training video on scales.